Okay guys, you got a daily driver or other LS powered vehicle and you want to make 600 horsepower. Should you pick a 408 stroker or a turbo 4.8? Which one costs less? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and welcome to the channel. The lesson for today, we want to make 600 horsepower. Should we pick a stroker LS or a turbo LS? Now, if we go to the wrecking yard and get a 4.8 or a 5.3, add a turbo to it, and all the things that are necessary, we know we can make 600 horsepower. If we go to the wrecking yard and get a 6 liter and turn it into a stroke or 4.08, we know we can make 600 horsepower. That's kind of a given. The question is, how much does each method actually cost? Okay, guys, let's jump right in and find out which one costs more if we're trying to make 600 horsepower, a 408 stroker, or a turbo 4.8 liter. We're going to start off with our turbo 4.8 liter. We've got a wrecking yard motor, 4.8. You could also do this, obviously, with a 5.3, and then you just have, you know, more average power production. But we're going to start off with a 4.8 liter. This is the typical power curve of a junkyard 4.8. It's run with a stock throttle body intake, all of that stuff. Usually headers, our Mazira electric water pump, and then we optimize the tune with some kind of management system. In this case, it was a Holly. And so this thing produced 333 or 34 horsepower and 343 foot-pounds of torque. And I've run probably 20 of these. And they can vary a little bit depending on the condition and the mileage of the motor, but this is pretty indicative of what they make. Here's what happens when we add a camshaft to it. And this is going to be part of our cost analysis here. So you can put lots of different camshafts in here. This one is a Brian Tooley Racing Stage 2 Turbo Cam. Uh, actually, if it was me, I probably would pick the Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris Cam for this 4.8 liter because you can easily make, you know, the number that we're trying to make with a cam. It would have better low speed response and stuff. You could also use my uh, $179 low buck truck cam, the Chapacabra. There's lots of good choices for camshafts, and we're going to talk about that later on. But cam and springs on a 4.8, we're looking at a little over 400 horsepower, so it did well, 413 or 14 and 365 foot-pounds of torque. Here's what happened when we added our turbo to it. This was at nine pounds, and we're already over 600 horsepower, 620 horsepower, and 534 foot-pounds of torque. This was a Summit Racing, it was a T6 S475, bigger than it needs to be for this power level, but that's a nice thing is we're, we're going to talk about that. We can always go up in power with the turbo, which is something we won't be able to do with the 4.8 or the, the 408 stroker. So speaking of that, let's take a look at what the 408 stroker did. Go ahead and put the combination up here. You can see the 408 actually did a little bit better than the 4.8 liter did, and <laughs> the turbo 4.8 liter made a little bit more power but it had everything on it. It had a set of airflow research heads on it. It obviously was a 408, so it was bigger. It had a stroker crank on it. It had a 4030 bore. It was an iron block. As I mentioned, the good heads, it had a pretty big camshaft in it. I'll go ahead and put the specs up here. That particular one was a crane camshaft. It had a fast intake manifold, our inch and seven eighths long tube headers, the way that we kind of all run it. So it's certainly possible to make over 600 horsepower with a 408, and we've done it many times. That's pretty standard for that deal. If you put enough camshaft in it and you have enough compression and you have good heads like our airflow research heads, then you can make good power. Here's the nice thing about having the turbo combination. We, we show it, it's making a little bit less than the, 408 at nine pounds well all we do is just we just go up to 11 pounds <laughs> and then we have 670 horsepower and and almost 600 foot pounds of torque the nice thing about this is with this particular turbo we could continue to go up to like a thousand horsepower the turbo will support that and that's something you can't do with the 408 unless you then add boost to that so for a 600 horsepower deal either one of them is capable but now let's answer the question how much does all this cost now that we know both of our combinations will make 600 plus horsepower let's go over some of the costs associated as we look at the power output of our 4.8 liter we are going to start with that so let's take a look at some of the costs we will assume that you already have the motor if you were to go to the wrecking yard and get a 4.8 or 5360 if you're lucky enough to find a six liter they're all going to be the same price at my wrecking yard i'm going to go into this assuming that you already have your motor if you're a six liter guy and you want to make a 408 you already have your six liter if you're a 48 or a 53 guy and you want to make 600 horsepower, you already have that motor. Otherwise, the cost would be the same. So on the 4.8 liter, you have a stock 4.8 liter. Obviously, for a turbo combination, the first thing you need is a turbo. And so a turbo is going to set you back 
I'm going to give you a price range here and we're going to look at a high and low because there's a big variation in what a lot of these things cost, which is kind of the problem with doing this kind of story. But if we take a look at a turbo, your GT45s or those kinds of things that will easily support 600 horsepower, we're looking at somewhere between 175 on the low side to maybe 600 on the turbo. So the next thing on the list is the intercoolers. So you can get a front mounted air to air or air to water. In fact, you can get a complete intercooler kit that has all of the piping and the associated couplers and stuff, which is very important because otherwise those things can nickel and dime you to death. You're looking at it between 600 and 750 horsepower for some sort of reasonably priced, you know, inexpensive intercooler. You know, the cold side tubing comes with that, so that's not really a cost. The hot side tubing you'll definitely need to do. We're talking about the Y pipe on a single turbo deal and then like the down pipe. I put in 400 to 550 horsepower or 400 to 550 dollars. It might be more, it might be less. You guys let me know in the comments. In terms of wastegates, you need to put a good wastegate on this thing. We're looking at between 189 and let's say 350 dollars for a good wastegate. As I said, the clamps and couplers and stuff that was taken care of on the intercooler side for the cold side. You are going to need valve springs because you're going to need a camshaft. And in just a minute, we're going to go over the other things that are required for this. But they're required for both the Turbo 48 and the uh, 408. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those aside because those are going to be equal costs for both of them. You know, things like in, in injectors and tune and stuff. So on the springs, you're looking at between $79 for an inexpensive set from the guys at Brian Tooley Racing, like the, the springs that I always recommend for my $179 cams, all the way up to about $200 for a dual spring setup. Exhaust manifolds for your turbo setup. Naturally, you need exhaust turbo manifolds for your turbo setup, but I like to use the factory truck manifolds if you can. Otherwise, you're going to have to spend some money to put either some sort, either some sort of cast manifold like the hooker stuff or these stainless turbo headers. So I, I have a range of zero dollars if you're going to use what you have, all the way up to four hundred and fifty dollars or so for the exhaust manifolds. And then for lines and fittings and things like that, we're looking at about $100. And if I did my math right, this brings us on the low side of about $1,543 or so to as much as $3,000 for all of the things associated with basically putting the turbo thing on there. Now, here are the things I didn't cover, and we're going to make a, a separate list for those. Obviously, a cam, if you get one of my cams, $179. If you get a you know, a truck Norse or Chopper Crab or, or, or Stage 2 Turbo Cam, whatever you want, it's going to range between $179 and $299. Now, every one of these is going to need a tune. I put $1,000 in there for the tune because you're going to have to take it somewhere. You're going to have to go on a chassis dyno. They're going to have to tune your whole combination. It might be more, it might be less. I just put that in there for both the combinations. You're going to need bigger injectors when you do this. So I put $570, $570 in because I was looking at like the 80 DECA injectors. You might be able to get them for less. That's another area where I wouldn't skimp because if you buy cheap injectors, they just might not work or you try to decap them also. It's kind of a tough idea there. Push rods, you're probably gonna need. Uh, I put $120 in there for push rods and that brings a total Oh, the two other things I forgot on, on the turbo side is you're going to need head studs and you're going to need head, new head gaskets, obviously, if you're going to take the heads off and put head studs in when you do ring gap, which you should do. So it's like $320 for the head studs and then $100 for the new head gaskets. That brings us to a total that both of them are going to share of $2,289. So now let's take a look and see how these costs compare to the 408. Okay guys, while we're on the subject of camshafts for either our Turbo 4.8 or the 408 Stroker, here is a shameless plug for the cams I have available. Who wants the ultimate LS cam? Works on all these combos. Whether it's your daily driver or a thousand horsepower turbo monster. Shoot me an email and we'll get you hooked up. Okay, guys, we've taken a look at our Turbo 4.8. And one thing I want to point out is we get a lot of comments about guys saying, oh, yeah, it's so inexpensive to turbocharge a, an LS motor. The turbos are like $175 or $200, $300, $400. If you have an LS motor and you buy a turbo for it, that's all that you have. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not the $175 turbo that makes it work. As you saw, there's a lot of other things that go into making it a successful turbocharged combination, and it's not as inexpensive as people think. But how does it compare to making 600 horsepower with a 408? So we're starting out with a six liter motor that you got from the wrecking yard or you have in your vehicle already. And the thing that you need, first of all, to turn it into a 408 stroker motor is a stroker assembly. So you need a crank, rods, pistons, you need bearings, you need rings. The best way to do this, you could piecemeal it and buy all those things individually, but the best way to do it is to buy a stroker kit. There's lots of them out there. And if I was doing a naturally aspirated one, I may or may not opt for like the steel crank version. I I've never heard a cast crank, especially at this power level and this RPM range that we're running. So I wouldn't worry about that. But like these other things, I'm gonna give you a variation in costs we're looking at between $1,500 to $2,500 for a typical kind of 408 stroker assembly. That's a 30 over bore and a four inch stroke and a 6125 rod. They usually come with um, rings and bearing assembly so that you can put that stuff together. So the next thing you're gonna need for a 408 to produce, actually produce over 600 horsepower, you're gonna need good cylinder heads. And so there's a big range in power or, or a big range in cost associated with the power necessary and the airflow necessary to make that power on a 408. So I'm looking at between 800 and $1,300 for good heads, although you could spend a lot more. On the low side, on the on the low buck side, you could also consider the guys at K-Tech. They have a $500 porting program that they could apply to factory heads. The other thing, because the 408 has a 403 bore, you could put factory LS3 heads on it, although you would not make this kind of power that I'm showing you with a factory LS3 head. Some kind of ported head is going to be better, whether it's cathedral or rec port. Either one of those work, but it's something to consider. Now, obviously, to make this power, we ran this combination with headers, and you're going to need headers to make this kind of power. There are some very inexpensive headers. Get something that's inch and seven eighths. Header prices range from 300 to I put a thousand dollars. You could spend way more than that on some elaborate and and you know stainless and and designed to fit a specific chassis headers, but between $300 and $1,000 for the headers, you're also going to need a good intake manifold for your stroker combination. The factory truck intake manifold is not going to get it done. Um, you're going to need something like a fast intake, a Holly high end, depending on where you want your power output. And so I put down on the intake manifold between $450 and $1,250, because if you cost out a fast intake manifold, it's an expensive manifold once you get the fuel rails and everything going with it. So the other low cost alternative, again, on the intake is a Trailblazer SS. You're not gonna make quite as much power, but it is a low cost alternative or a factory LS3 intake manifold. If you opt for the LS3 style rec port heads on your buildup, you could use the factory LS3 intake manifold. And that takes us right into the throttle body. In order to feed an intake manifold that has 102 or 105 millimeter throttle opening, you're gonna need a throttle body. So I put down between 180 and $225 on a 102 slash 105 millimeter throttle body. The other low cost alternative to that is to use the factory 90 millimeter drive-by wire throttle body. It shouldn't hurt you too much. Just wanna make sure that it doesn't leak and it doesn't overhang too much. The final thing you're gonna need on the 408 is machine work. You're gonna to have to take the block to the machine shop. They're gonna to have to bore it. A lot of times they're gonna to have to notch the bottom of the cylinders and basically clearance it for a stroker application. So I would put between $800 and $1,200. Let me know in the comments if you think that's too much or too little. But when we total all that out, on the low side, we come out to a little over $4,000, 4, $4,030. And on the high side, it could be as much as near $7,500, 7475 So you can see it could be not cheap to put together a 408 stroker. And then just as we did with a 4.8 liter, I'm gonna list all of the things they're also necessary, but since it's shared as a cost with a 408, those two things kind of offset each other. So that's the 2289 that we spent on cam, tune, injectors, push rods, head studs, and gaskets. <laughs> Let me know in the comments which one you would pick. Would you spend the extra money for the 408? Would you not spend the extra money and go with the 48 or a 53 and a turbo? Or would you just go whole hog, do the 408, and then add turbos? I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.